<coughs> Hello. God, that's geeky. Right. I, so far, have been working on a pair of GT12s. One I finished last night, which is the traditional design of colours this driver chooses. But he asked for a special one as well. He wanted a, a red ball. Not from sitting down too funny or anything, or sitting on his keys or anything like that. So, I, he can't really see the colours, Have I have spent the last six hours just doing two logos. So it's paint, it's not a sticker. I'm super happy with those, they've come out. I mean, bear in mind this is a 12th scale. Um, I didn't think it was good, I had to really struggle. It, it, I've got a little bit of shadowing on the ends of the bull's feet and their tails. Other than that, yeah, yeah. so I'm now going to finish the rest of it off. But that's what that's six hours work so far. So, and that's all using tons and tons of what? It's lucky I'm a bit of a tweezer ninja. So I've been painting while my hand, that's why my hands are covered in paint, obviously. So I've got driver's name to cut out that I've actually put in. Because when I, drew, I, I cut that on my cutter, and when I stuck it in, it didn't, it didn't look right. It was square and obviously the window's curved. So I had to pick them all off and square them all up. So you'll see those later when I you can just about make out his name. So that will be in white. Um, hex panels there and there. Obviously I've got to do lights, grills and rear brake lights. And then I've got pinstripe around the side. He did want the red ball on the side but I had to kind of, I looked at it and I thought well if it was if it was just a flat surface it would have been really easy but because it's got like there's a step and there's another step and then there's another step with a curve and it's on an angle there is no way I was going to get my, my um, low tack masking sheets to stick well enough to um, get all those little curves and whatnot so I kind of um, politely declined so we're going to have yellow on the inner door panel, then red round the outside of the door, then white up to the point there, back round and down and following round, and then a, a chrome strip across the back, and then a white rear. So this has been a ton of work, and thought if I come online and do it in front of the camera I won't rush it because I'm now a bit like I want it finished I want it finished I want it finished so I reckon I've probably got another two hours work so if anybody wants to stay with me or and talk and stuff I've got my I have my headphones on um, but I'll look up and, and talk when I can I know the atmosphere has gone massively since I'm, I have stopped playing music, but I was getting told off so much by the Facebook police and also YouTube. YouTube won't even letting me load up the videos because you know you have to you have to um, when you load a video to YouTube they they pre whatever they do to it 
and they kept coming back saying, no, you have copyrighted music, you can't play that. So they, they wouldn't load it. So I'm now like most other boring airbrush <coughs> videos where it's just a nerd with an airbrush not playing any cool music. No more day. What's the temperature like in South Africa at the moment? Tonight's the first night here where it's it's a little bit on the chilly side and it's well in my shed it's like 20 degrees because I've got I've got the heating on. And I've got I've got a, I've got a body warmer on as well. And the apron and a jumper and a shirt. <laughs> Don't like the cold. Right, so I'm going to crack on with this. I'm going to back the, because this is pearl blue, so I'm going to back the pearl blue with black and then I'm going to do the traditional colours of red ball down the sides and then white and then white with lights and grills and stuff. So actually I'm going to do the lights next once I clean the gun out. What I do is I stick some reducer into the airbrush. Use an old kid's paintbrush. And wiggle it about in there and, and get the paint nice and mixed and loose and then put it in a spit cup. Then I clean it out with a tiny bit of water so that my reducer goes further or cleaner. Then finger on the end and try and make lovely noises while bug washing while keeping your fit obviously you keep, keep, keep the guard on so you don't harpoon yourself because I've done that a lot and then clean it out again and a little bit of tissue I have another gun as well which actually is actually clean blimey Always double check when you're changing colours. If you put your finger on the end, you, sh you might get the odd little bit blowback. So it's good. To I've got a little bit of uh, off-cut of carpet because this is a this is a, uh, a palette. So I've got my hairdryer under this side. So this is a whole uh, shelving unit, and then I've got an old palette. And so then I've got a cardboard box underneath full of old carpet which I spray into and then I've got a little bit of carpet wrapped around. See this is actually, um, this is primer felt, this is old racing carpet. So that's where I spray off all my overspray. Put the end of your brush back. But as I said, I am super happy with these, the, with, with the balls, so to speak. There's hardly any, I mean that's a, ti that's a tiny, bear in mind how big my fingers are. And then you've got the slightly larger one, which is as, as big as I could get, because obviously there's the ridge on the head, on the, on the roof as well. So there's, it's getting it to sit and square and do it in reverse and stick it, well, stick it on that side while trying to work get it all square and straight and yeah it was fun not so that bit's done everything else is cut so I'm now going to sort of crack on with it so tunes back on I'm listening to what am I listening to Hulsh uh, on uh, Circle on YouTube so there's a um, what do they call them? Uh, circle are like a, they go around the world doing live sets for DJ. DJs change, change every week, obviously pre-COVID. And this is a set from India, and it's it's rather banging. It's a shame I can't play it out loud. The last time I did, I got in trouble. 
I know my music taste is a little bit special. Maybe going to am as well. So I'm just double checking I've done all my cuts. I think I did that one. Oh, I'll find out when I get to it. So now it's headlights. And they're particularly tricky on these little twelfths. And there's so many different angles and curves. Always make sure you have a brand new blade on. So it doesn't wander too much. Two coats of uh, liquid mask. I've been actually pretty sparing with it recently because I haven't got any more. I've only got the bottle I've got. So I've been spraying the liquid mask at a very, very low PSI and trying to make it last. I've got three on order, but they'll be a little while before they're in. And I'm, I'm actually using these tiny ones because I run out of the big bottles. I, I use a bottle a month near enough, so I haven't got much left. But two two coats of that through my spray gun, and it's pretty pliable. I could turn that heating off. It's been way too hot. Right, guard off the detail. Check your needle every so often because you get a build up of paint on it and it'll stop the needle, it'll stop it spraying nicely. It's called dry tip. So every so often you'll see me sort of pick the, the tip, or wipe the paint, the dry paint away from the tip. White paper or a light surface underneath where you're painting so you can see how thick you're going and then just take your time. I try and pivot from my elbow. Don't 
Don't try and do it in one continuous movement because you end up turning yourself inside out. Just, just do straight areas if you can and then move the shell accordingly. This is job number um, 191 for the year. I was on for my best year ever. But nobody's having anything done now, which is understandable. So I have a, a, a list of shells to work through before I start opening up again for more orders but I just was getting to the point where I just couldn't keep up and that's stress I don't need that and it's kind of embarrassing when you're saying somebody oh it's about six weeks but you're not really sure how long it's going to take because general life's getting a bit stressful like most and being out here to every, being out in the shed for so many hours a night, each night, is a bit, doesn't do the back any good. I'm out here most nights. Obviously because I enjoy it. Sharp tweezers are a necessity and a new blade each shell. If not two. As soon as you can feel the um, knife dragging, change it. When, it's, when it starts to snag and you can feel the pressure's changed, change your blade and I go through quite a lot of these. Let's see. I've got my box here. I only, only, ow, only started um, saving them there a while ago. That hurt. There was an airbrush needle in there as well. Just another prick on camera. Boop -boop. And then it's a case of peel away the carefully the masks that I've put on. I cut all these on my cutter. So cut my hex pattern. The paint should be, if you put it on lightly enough, instantly dry. Don't quote me on that. When you put it on too thick, is when it, it that's when it it goes underneath the uh, the stencils. Sorry, masks. So just lightly
normally I put a, a, a basil B in each grill, but on these little twelfths there's not enough space. can't see that. I'll put some white on it in a minute, you'll see what I'm done. Then the other hex panel parts. I don't know if these are supposed to be vents, but they just they just look like they should be, so I, I cut them. So I will be back in the blue with black as well, so it won't show up on the bonnet after. Back in the, uh, the blue pearl with black gives it a great depth. And he did it very lightly. So that's changed the colour of the blue now, it's much darker. When you're trying to do shading around hexes, don't actually aim where you want, just aim on the mask and then when you can see where, how big your uh, your paint line is, you can then move it in a little bit just to encroach it slightly and it gives a much finer line. Because if you went dead to do it there, you'd, you'd, you'd ruin the whole effect. But you can see it. Here a little bit. This is my I got two eye water eclipses. 
and some other brushes. This one's in desperate need of a clean. Well, they both are actually now. I think they've had about 50 paint jobs before that, since their last rebuild. Just where I'm out here every night, I, I tend to leave them sitting in reducer so they don't dry out. So this one's struggling with the same PSI, even though it's the same size needle. So I need to take it apart, put some love into it. I spent ages squaring up these letters, well, to what I thought it was square. Why is my phone going so nuts? Oh, I'm watching myself now. So I've got a little bit of encroachment on the corners there. It's because I moved them around so much trying to get them right. can't see the, the shadowing in there and the hex pattern. I promise you it's there. <coughs> right. Brake lights. The brake lights are the ones I, I enjoy doing the least. I don't know why. I think it's because you spent so much time and effort into the front ones. The back ones are a bit anticlimactic. Do I do it all by eye? Which is worrying. I always used to be really good. They, at my local pub, there used to be one of these touch screens and they had like the, the dual screens and they could, you had to say what was wrong on either side. You know, like the same picture, but they'd move things. And I was always really I'm not going to say really good, but I was all right at those. And it's a bit like that with this. You sort of hold it up and say, do they look right? 
Yes, because it's you're going for symmetrical rather than. I'm going to do hex pattern in this one. I did stars last night. Apparently, I do too many stars according to one of my uh, mates. So. Low PSI, you're, you're not trying to blow the stencil away, sorry mask. Changing um, colours from black is always always takes longer because the black's it's much harder to it corrupts every colour after it so you've got to really make sure you've got it clean. Right, I've been, up to now I've been doing really bright red lights, but I've decided I'm going to use pearl red. Gives it a, a less cartoony look. Only a couple of drops. Always test spray it afterwards, make sure it's the right colour. There could be some black still in the uh, trigger. Needle, that's the right word, needle. You can't see the hex is red. It looks quite smart actually. If I do say so. Where, where, 
have I got people watching from? I've got, I says I've got nine people watching at the moment. Where, if, you, if you're not said hello, you can say hello and say where you're from. I've got over two international last night. Uh, Australia and South Africa. My parcels all, parcel, of, parcel of shells that went to America have got their fine, which I'm quite chuffed about. So now I've got I've got paint in the states, which is cool. And I've got some shells to go to Australia, and then about four orders to go to Germany. Oh, Scott. Oh, Western Australia. West Wales, cool. Hello, hello. I bet I bet you haven't been watching the football. No, I won't talk about it too much. I'm not I'm not the biggest. Well, I am a football fan, but I'm not an international football fan. That's not too bright, and it's not going to overpower the the, the the good bits. If that makes sense, it's there. You can see it if you get up close, but it's not. I've had cars going round, and the brake lights are so uh, in your face that it, it takes everything away. Hello, Peter. Do a nice pearl black, uh, red. Right, so now it's a case of picking what colour to do next. I'm going to do the red, because that red comes around the door and the centre of the door is yellow. So I don't want the yellow to bleed, well the red to bleed into the yellow. So I'm going to do the red first. He says. This is where I'm worried. I've spent so long on it and now I'm like super keen to see these finished because I'm excited. I don't want to rush. Always use the end of your tweezers to put any tails up that stick up from the where it lifted up from there. So I've just put it back down again. I mean, my hands are clean, but I'm trying to keep my fingers off the, the liquid mask as much as I want to clean Luxon. Because there's a slight curve to this door, 
so it, it moves in and there's a step the liquid mask you can't get the gun into the these little channels so I try and build it up as much as I can because it's always weak when you try it that just then it wouldn't pick out it all separated so if you have it too thin you're there for hours picking out little bits so you have to get into all the nooks and crannies with the, especially the, the the tail the rear wing posts and like on an LMP12 when you've got the points you're always having to make sure you, you really put loads in there so they, they pick out cleanly because otherwise it's an absolute nightmare Right, so we're going to go bright, bright red now. now. I was thinking of putting pinstripes around it, but I think there's enough going on. I don't want to add any more. Or do I? I can add a pinstripe afterwards. I'll see what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to look naked or not. Right. Neon red. with a couple of marbles in it. Neon colours are harder to spray with, so don't put too much on. Just put enough on and then dry it and then put another coat on. You try and do it in one coat, it'll just it'll run. Yes, Scott, I'll show you, I've got it. Dun, dun, dun. What do I do with it? Ah, oh, which box is it in? Um. I don't know which box it's in. Oh, that's right, it's in the bottom one. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Ah, it's over here. I put it on my. So this is in my pile. I actually haven't got a car for it. I just wanted to paint one. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it once I've finished it. But I just wanted a Ferrari. I'm kind of a Ferrari fanboy. I actually had to come off all the Ferrari, uh, all the, the F1 forums, because I was just getting fed up defending them. Yes, they're slow. And doesn't mean I don't like them anymore. hoping with this trick that it'll have the colours that are traditional with Red Bull on the doors, it just won't look <laughs> because of these recesses. I didn't want to do it on the, the rear brake lights because I didn't want it all to be too much. Less is more, like my hairline. Because there's so many different angles, you've got to really sort of get the gun around into it rather than just loading up one angle, one surface with paint. Same problem I had on a liquid mask. This is a really strong red. It might look orange on camera, but it's red.
this is the, the colour I want to turn my um, use on my cars, my race cars. But um, one of my pit buddies uses it, so I, I can't. Don't hit it with too much heat in one place. Move the um, hairdryer about. This has got two speeds, or two heats as well. Three heats, and a cold. And um, if you put it on one spot for too long, it, it'll, it, the, the, the paint um, doesn't stick. It dries, but it dries in a thin sheet, and then it'll just scratch off. So you've got to be very careful not to overheat it, or it'll crack. And it, that doesn't do any favours either. That sounds really sad. I can kind of see where it needs a bit more paint. That was lucky. Right, now you need to back that with white because otherwise the yellow will react with the red and it'll look rubbish. Or you could use, I, I actually used this earlier, I don't know if I was supposed to use it or not, balancing clear. So I, I back, when I finished the red balls, I, I backed them before I did the blue, just in case the blue went through the white. And it didn't. Which is quite that was a happy accident, happy experiment because I, I I've got an old KFC pot which I, I spray on to make sure it, it rather than ruin a shell. I mean I might ruin a shell anyway with my paint, but um, the intention is not to do it deliberately. Obviously this also locks the red, makes the red a lot brighter as well. It is red, it looks orange. really need to take this apart right so just to doubly right see that is neon red really it's one of my favorite colors really like that well that does change because it's normally pearl blue that's not normally my favorite because I've got so many different colors I can't make my mind up so it, it alters That one. 
I'm just trying to remember, I'm trying to work out remember what color I used for the dot. Obviously, liquid mask is incredibly stretchy after it's heated, so be careful when you try and peel it out when it's warm. It tends to tear like that. I should really let it dry for a couple of seconds, but I'm I'm excited and rushing a little bit. Right, so now that section is going to be yellow. Uh, which gun? That one. I found an old, old paintbrush is brilliant for this because you can get right down into the, the bits you can't get with your finger or over your hand. Always wear an apron. So I am brand. Look, I'm even on point. I'm branded. There we are. I'm doing my beard. My beard is really getting on my nerves with the with the wearing of uh, the COVID mask. Well, Scott, I can't. I, if you gave me every colour in front of me, I haven't a clue. This is why I, I'm kind of envious when someone comes to me and they go, Oh, I want uh, that colour, that colour, and that colour because they're my three favourite colours. And I'm like, Wow, I can't, I can't pick. I just, it just depends what my mood, mood is and what if there's a particular. I think I've seen that I want to try and do my twist on. Otherwise, I I just draw a blank massively. I call it painter's block. Obviously, this is color. Uh, co this is a homage to the Red Bull logo. So I know they don't use a luminous yellow, but we're, we're, we're going a bit brighter because I know. Um, Poor old Mr. Jewett's a bit, um, I was going to say senile, um, uh, <coughs> um, his eyesight. He's probably gone to bed now anyway, so I, I don't have to be so polite. So I've got to get inside these door crevices and neon paint is a, a bugger to work with because it's so wet. So I built the paint up slowly. Once you get into the routine of um, changing your colour, putting your paint on, spraying it, drying it, it's just a, it's just repeat, period, repeat. Oh, you're still awake. Oh, hello. <coughs> I don't call you Mr. Magoo. Is he seen us? I mean, you're one of the fastest uh, uh, older drivers I've seen.
I'm one of the loudest. <laughs> Exactly, Scott. You see, it, people start off with cheaper brushes, get frustrated and stop. But they, like an Eclipse is like three times the price of a, of a, of a, of a basic one. And you get what you pay for. I mean, it, I think it puts a lot of people off because the, 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 the lower value brushes are terrible. Although I can recommend the Spa Max Max 3, that's a good brush, very good value. I have, I have one here. Another one I need to clean. Because I'm, I'm doing so many paint jobs, I, I, I'll put that down, I'll clean it later, and then I'll go back to look at it, and it's, it's completely dried up. So I've got to take it completely apart and dry it and clean it and that one and that one's clean but I've, I've got to give it some love so the, the main armory are the two are the two eyewatters I have a one that's done nearly 500 well it's over 500 paint jobs now that's seeing the better days now and then I have a brand new one I've had for five weeks six weeks and I haven't actually taken it apart yet no, I can't help you unfortunately I, I, I'm allegedly the mechanic in the uh, Person See Varva's moving as well. They're just trying to get into those door pockets. I see that's done it. Although, there's a little bit of mask on there. I missed that. Right, I have to get that out. Oh, it's hurting my eyes. Yep, you want uh, lower PSI for detail and then more general PSI for area. And then obviously cap off when you're doing detail and cap on when you're doing area. find with a luminous yellow, I know there's green in it, it always looks green. Always. I know when you back it, it turns the proper colour, but it, it's enough to make you nervous. Alright, so 
having a bit of a nightmare because of those door pockets. They actually match as well. I mean, I shouldn't sound surprised. Well, wow, that looks really good. Trying to keep it away from the writing I've done on the windscreen. Sorry, windshield. That's looking really good now. So we've got white coming up round to there and then white round the back and then we've got some chrome pin to do as well and then we're done. So, although this is a very simple design, this has been one of the hardest ones I've done because of the, uh, the logo work. That's looking wicked. That's looking really smart. So I'm trying to stretch my back at the same time as I talk. I'm not trying to fart or anything. You'd hear. Must be a police helicopter. Did they go past my? If they do the, you know, the heat sensor thing, and they must see my shed and go, ooh. <laughs> What's he growing in there? Right. I've had a little bit of a the blue lift up so I've got to sort that out. That's annoying. I was just looking at it perplexed and going why has that just done that? And it's obviously torn or stuck to the liquid mask. Right, so before I do that bit, well, that's just added another 20 minutes to my job. Thankfully, it was a straight edge, so it's not it's not the end of the world. Yeah, the new X-Ray T421 comes out very soon, I think. I've heard bits and bobs. 
I, I won't say. It sounds like they've been listening to what people have been talking, talking about. That's really annoying. That turned that Ted. Make sure it's square. It doesn't have to always be stuck down. You can put it at a slight angle to stuck. Because what you're trying to do is stop the spray going back. It tore. It tore when I went round the front edge. Pearls for you. Obviously. A bit more drying time would uh, be more ideal. Only a little bit of paint. And let's take the cap off. And then it's just a case of Way too much blue. That was a waste. I must have halved the amount of paint I used by just turning the PSI down and not spraying too much and just build up what I need. Right, a little bit of black because that's what it was backed with. That's what will give the blue the same colour. Only a couple of drops. A little bit of heat. He says.
This is where you tear something else off. That's a waste. Well, I'll just stick that somewhere else and I can use that later. sympathetic to that edge now that I, as I'm pulling it away. There we are. So around the side of my frame I've got all bits of tape that I've used for odds and sods. They're just good for to keep. They've only been used once you can use them again for something else. Rather than just chuck it away. sorted you wouldn't know well you do because you watched it but you know what I mean wonder if I'd done that bit there. This is starting to look wicked. Sorry, I'm picking myself up there. Right, so now we want some white. I'm going to use my cleaner of two guns.
bit of mask in the t in the rear wing post. And the other side. It must have dried. Very, well, it's a very weird angle, so it's not got in there and dried properly. Well, I haven't built up the coats properly on it, so it's like tissue thin. There we are. So that was the inside on both wings posts had a bit of masking. It's just the angle you can't get the airbrush liquid mask in to all these different angles. And obviously this is a 12th as well. Now I try and leave it so that it's ever so slightly clear. I mean, so you can still see the writing through it. Because there's just no point loading it up with tons and tons of paint. Makes the shell heavy. And paint too thick. That looks the Obviously this, this pinstripe is is paint is permanent marker. So it will look a little bit more Hopefully I'll be allowed to take the overspray off. If he's still awake. back down again so I can get the last bit of mask off. So I've still got to do the pinstripes. Well, pinstripe. Now I've been using a, a mirror chrome which I'm now not backing in black. I'm just leaving it clear. I spoke to the seller well you read the details on the packet it says you don't have to back they don't he doesn't want you to back it he wants you to leave it clear it'll look transparent when you hold it up to the light but when the car's on the ground he says that the track makes the uh, gives it the black it needs because also he's worried the black doesn't stick very well Because obviously it's solvent and everything else is water-based. Thank you, Scott. I just literally just follow what's there. It's not. I haven't done anything special. So this is one of my little tricks. Uh, there's still quite a lot of paint in there, so I've added some reducer. 
mixed it up a bit and then put it back in the pot and it just reduces the pot down ever so slightly over the course of its life and it means I'm just not throwing paint away for the sake of it and obviously paint's expensive even when you own an art shop <coughs> Because the family business, I spend all day, day selling paint and paint airbrushes. You think I should be better at this? Well, I think I should be better at it. Solvent Mirrochrome. Now this stuff is pretty unpleasant to breathe. So I shall... I've been very lazy tonight, I haven't put my mask on. I spent all day in a mask, I didn't want to come and then spend the evening sitting in one, but I'm going to put my mask on. Because this stuff is horrible. Oh, I sound completely different with my headphones off. I sound much better with them on. Tuck my beard in. Oh, I didn't check for spiders. Oh well, poor things. Thank you. That means I'll take the overspray off. That's all I want to know. Obviously, be very careful with applying this stuff. If you drop any of it on the shell, leave it. If you start rubbing it, it will rub the paint off. So if you drop any on the shell, leave it. Or try and roll it so it rolls off. Any rubbing, it will melt it. And just build it up slowly. You put it on too thick, it melts it. I need to order some more actually. I would rather do this at the start, but I've been told to do this last. And when I say at the start, it's because you're more alert. Okay, I think. And there we are, finished. Truth be, truth be told, I, I wanted to matte finish this on the outside, but Mark wouldn't let me, which is fair enough, it's his shell. So I'm looking forward to seeing the gloss and, and see if I was if I had the right idea or not. Because I thought it would look quite cool if it was if it was matte. They always look wicked when they've got the overspray off, and I don't get to peel the overspray off very often. I had somebody, I sent them the shells, and they went apoplectic because I took the overspray off. So, in, I, as a rule of thumb now, I don't touch it, although it's the best part of the whole painting process. Couldn't do a thing right for that customer. So, you just suck it up and, and try and learn something positive from it. Thankfully he stopped racing, because of me I hope.
rock pole. If it just teaches you something not to do, that's good. Here we go. This is the fun bit. Because I've spent a lot of time looking at this. Maybe I should pull on the agony and do it in stages. Yeah, well, Colin, you get that, that one in a hundred that makes you treat everybody like that one twat. And that's what I've learned at work as well. You get one person that gives you grief, learn from it, and then put that into process. And then sadly, you end up treating everybody like it. It's like a, it's like a natural guard, isn't it? I mean, you'd be stupid to get your ears burnt and then not learn anything from it. If I was to do it again, I think I'd put a pinstripe across the top edge. Otherwise, love it. That is going to look wicked going round. Even with Mark driving it. I'll take some pictures and put them up on the page so you can see the bits of detail you can't see in this light. But that's 100% paint and about 11 hours work. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm sure I'll be on to annoy you again all very soon. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs>